Good morning, good afternoon, good night, whatever it is where you at. <laughs> it's just Kay. I want to welcome you to my channel. And for the new people um, that are watching or joining, I would like for you to like, comment, and subscribe below. And uh, for the returning people from the K from the K family, welcome, welcome back. Today we're going to be making. You see, we're in the kitchen again, and we got stuff going on all over the place. We're going to be making a holiday appetizer and also two holiday cocktails. Mm -hmm. It's five o'clock somewhere, baby. I don't know, but anyway, we're going to get started and get it going. I thank you. Today's outside is kind of dreary and cloudy, but that's okay. It don't stop you from eating and drinking. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's get started. And please like, comment, and subscribe below. Join me. It's just K. All right, all right. Uh, the first thing we're going to start off is washing the hands. You know that's right. Always, all the time, all the time. Okay, after we wash our hands, we're going to start off with one of two of the Christmas cocktails. Okay, um, I always like holiday cocktails and themed cocktails, so we're going to try our hand at maybe two. So the first cocktail is called a Christmas Mimosa. Right, and let's get our glass here. There's a nice glass for the mimosa. Nothing fancy, it ain't gotta be expensive. I do like a little weight to it, so some glass here. And this is gonna consist of, it's a variety of things, nothing uh, real heavy. I'm sure you can change it to make it heavy. I opted to do sparkling wine instead of a champagne. You can do this with champagne. So. I'll link the recipe and everything below for both cocktails and the appetizer. So let's start it off. Two ounces of sparkling wine, two ounces of cranberry juice, a splash of orange liqueur, rosemary sprig in the glass, and cranberries going across. Let's get it. Sorry about that. I usually use this for the ounces. I just use this. This goes to my shaker. Okay. Sorry about that, y'all. <laughs> okay, so got two ounces of sparkling wine or champagne. And I chose to use the Rosada Moscato di Asti. I'm gonna move this over a little bit. This is a sparkling wine. Um, champagne is a sparkling wine, you all. I just wanted to try this. Uh, when I looked up the champagne, they gave other options. So this is that. We're gonna get this open. This is a screw off. I don't do too well with the pipe. I'm up and I don't want it to explode. Okay. Okay, we're gonna do two ounces of this. I don't wanna spill this, show. Okay. I did it kind of good. That's two ounces of the sparkling and two ounces of cranberry juice. Okay. I just got some cranberry juice from Walmart. ounces of the cranberry juice okay and then a splash of orange liqueur now one thing I found out when I was preparing for this recipe y'all pure pure liqueur flavored liqueur is very expensive but you can also get the little generics and stuff I found this out from the lady at the liquor store she explained and broke it down to me so um, I found for the orange liqueur, I found the triple sec, which is like a substitute for the real liqueur. I also found out that the true liqueur for orange and fruity in that field is Grand Marinade, Grand Marinade, Marinade, whatever the hell, you know what I'm talking about in the brown bottle. 
That sucker was $25. I Look, we only doing a splash of this. I'm not paying $25 for that. But she said most people already have it on their bar. So I understand that. So we're going to do a splash of this. This is a cocktail artist. This was from Walmart. And it's a triple sec syrup. And it has the orange flavor. And that's what I'm supposed to add a splash of this. So let's get this open. But yeah, Grand Marianne. Marianne tell me how to pronounce it, y'all. I don't know. But yeah, she came to the counter with them two big bottles, and I was just like, uh, uh, no, we ain't doing all that. Okay, so put a splash of this in here. Oh, we got another top on here? Okay, now y'all trying to make it difficult now. Does it smell like orange? Oh, yeah. Okay, a splash. What's a splash? I'll do this. This is a splash. That's a splash. Oh, changing the colors. All right. Okay, so there was a splash of that. And then I'm supposed to do uh, a rosemary sprig in the glass and cranberry across the top. Okay, we got a little bit left in there. Let's get it all out. We, 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 we don't say, we don't <laughs> hold on out. So, I have the cranberries. And what am I looking for? The sprig of rosemary sprig. That's something else. Hold on. Okay. Okay, so here's my rosemary. And it says stick a sprig in it. Let's get it going. Okay. Oh, it looks nice too. I guess you stick that down on there like that. That's a rosemary spray. And it says, line it across. Now, the recipe called for sugared cranberries. This is a pack of cranberries out the produce section. I didn't have time to do no damn sugar. Because to do sugar cranberries, you would have to boil these, then roll, around, roll them around some damn sugar. That took too long. So, you know what we're going to do? We're going to put these on a thing across here. And that's going to be the sugar cranberry. That's going to be the cranberries. We ain't doing sugar, okay? We had to do, do a... Um, Inter intersection of the sugar cranberries, but you can do those. Okay, so these are just regular cranberries. Give me a minute. Let me get a um a mop here. I don't want to knock nothing over. Hold on. Mm -mm. Do I have to get up there? I don't really want to get up there. Hold on, y'all. I don't want to really get up in this cabinet because I know what I want. But sure, people have to get up here. Hold on. Do, 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 do. Oh, here you go. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. They're going to be fancy. Okay. So, I'm going to use one of these and go across. Let's pick red for the holidays. Do it come in red? I don't think it matters. Okay. Anyway. These just some regular old artsy uh, toothpicks. Okay. So, I'm gonna stick like three or four on here. And these were supposed to be sugar cranberry, y'all. Yeah. Okay, what happened? Oh, no, I'm just looking. Okay, so here's my cranberries. And on the picture, they laid them across like this on the recipe. And voila, this is your Christmas cocktail, the first one, and it's called a Christmas mimosa. Cheers. I'm going to check it out, y'all. I'm going to check it out. I'm going to check it out. Let me take a picture of it also. Give me a minute. Alrighty then, and now we're ready to do the peppermint and white chocolate Christmas cocktail. This is the second cocktail holiday cocktail that we're doing okay combine in the shaker here's the shaker move it back a little bit move y'all back a little bit okay combine in a shaker you know, see that combine in a shaker two ounces of vodka this recipe has a little bit of vodka peppermint snaps white chocolate liqueur and milk would you believe with some little sprinkles so we'll see how this works out this is a peppermint and white chocolate christmas cocktail two ounces of vodka 
my choice of vodka. I didn't have any, but I just guess. This is called the Zvetka. Zvetka. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, but if I'm not, correct me if I'm wrong. Two ounces of this. So I present two ounces is two of these. Lord God. <laughs> okay, let's do two ounces of this. One. Two. I hope this is two ounces because this is shows a lot of vodka, but okay. Vodka is all right. Vodka is all right. Okay, that's two. We're through with, we're through with this. Uh oh, two ounces of that, and that's the brand I use. Okay, and then we're going to add to that a half an ounce of peppermint snaps. Um, I picked a lot of this stuff up from the liquor store yesterday. I'm not familiar with like all the liqueurs and stuff. Like I said, the lady at the liquor store schooled me. This is the brand and this is the peppermint snaps. And they say add a half ounce. It smells pepperminty. Half ounce, so I guess it's like half of this. Okay. That's about a half ounce, I presume. A little more. Okay. <laughs> That's a half an ounce of peppermint snaps. I'm gonna close that up. And then we're also going to add two ounces of white chocolate liqueur. Now, this is the problem I ran into in the store. Like I was telling y'all, um, I didn't have, I'm not spending $25 for that bottle. I don't have a bar set up, so to speak. So, when I looked up the chocolate liqueur, I found under those categories, other than the Grand Marine, 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 I don't know if I'm saying it right. I found this under there. I found Kahlua, but I had to really look. This is more chalk. This would taste better than the Kahlua or some of the other ones I had. I had to Google it. Uh, so when I got to Jewel, they only had the light. It doesn't matter. It's going to all mix up and all be good together. So with this, I chilled this, and this is going to be two ounces of this. And this is the Bailey's. I'm sure everybody's familiar with that. This looks strong, boy. I can smell it. Okay. So two ounces of that. So we're gonna go one. Let's 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 sound. It's like go go go. That's one. And then we're gonna do two. Okay. I mean, I don't have a full service bar set up. I mean, I would like to. Okay, so that's the Bailey's. And after that, we are going to, so we added the two ounces of vodka, the peppermint snaps, and the white chocolate liqueur. And it says add a splash of milk or cream. So I have milk, and I'm gonna add a splash. Almond milk. I'm not going to put almond milk in it. Um, I'm going to do a splash. So I'm going to put a splash. You know what? I'm going to put a little bit now. That's about a splash. That's about a splash. Okay. And it's just some basic 2% milk. Okay. And then I'm supposed to shake till it's combined and smooth. Okay, we ain't gonna we gonna say that. I'm gonna put this back on top of here. I don't know how damn long I'm supposed to shake this. Let me rinse it off. I don't want it going anywhere. Okay, shake to combine and smooth. Okay, I don't. I'm not Tom Cruise, and this ain't no movie. And uh, <laughs> I don't know how this is gonna come out with the shaking. Let me dry it off because it's wet. I'm gonna shake it for like five ten minutes. Five minutes. Okay, shake to combine and smooth. The damn thing fell on the floor, y'all. This is the blooper of bloopers. Look at that. I mean, come on. Was I not holding it correctly? Y'all, we got to start over. I'll be back. Hey, y'all. I'm trying to, I'm getting it up. There's nothing wrong with having an accident. It does happen. Uh, I think when I was shaking it, <laughs> I should have kept my hand on the top. 
I shouldn't have just been shaking it all over the place and shaking it like I was in a movie like Tom Cruise. Because <laughs> ain't nothing in this thing but about an ounce. So let me get this up. And then we're going to start over. We are going to start over. You can smell the liquor too. Anyway. Oh, so, this is the first blue flow air. You know, it does happen. It does happen. Okay. I'm going to stand right here, too, because I don't want to bust my, you know what, on this flow. But, hey, this is real life. This ain't TV. <laughs> okay. So, y'all. Okay. We're going to get it together. Just wiped all this off. Luckily, if when it fell, it just went straight on the floor. And you know what? I'm gonna use this towel for down here too. Let me just see my, my foot. Okay. So we're gonna start over. We are gonna rinse this out. We'll pull that out where we had. We're going to start over. We're going to do it again. We're going to do it again. Yes, indeed. I hate how I missed. I used the lick up. Okay, so let me wipe this counter off. And we're going to start over. Don't give up. I'm glad the, the camera didn't fall. Okay. Give me a minute. We're going to start over. Let me wipe all this off. That looking strong, too. I smell it. Okay, so let's get some paper towels going. It happens. It happens. All right, all right. Just let y'all know I'm really real. <laughs> okay, so now that we got that taken care of, we're going to start over. Let me dry the counter off. Dry this. Because remember, I had just said, I had just said, I want to dry this off because it's slippery. And I was shaking and shaking. And you see the whole damn thing fell out, flipped out. Okay. So, we're going to start from scratch. <laughs> All right. Let's get it together, y'all. Whole, whole kitchen smell like liquor. Okay. We're going to start again. We're going to start anew. Let me see here. Hopefully, it won't cut off on me. Okay. So, again... <laughs> As we begin again. Okay. Where's my cards? <laughs> Feel like Jimmy Kimmel. Okay. We're working on a Christmas cocktail. This is a peppermint and white chocolate Christmas cocktail. Let's combine in the shaker two ounces of vodka. Where's my vodka? On the floor. Okay. And the vodka I chose was Svetka. Svetka. Y'all see it? I'm so nervous at this big blooper. That's what I chose. Okay. Two ounces. Let's get this going again. This time we got to be careful, y'all. One. Two. Okay. Okay. Look at that. Already went down some. I ain't really had no drink yet. I ain't had no drink yet. Okay. We got two ounces of vodka. And then we have a half of ounce of peppermint snaps. The type of peppermint snaps I'm using is by Du Boucher Liqueur. And it's peppermint snaps. I got all these products from the liquor store. And it says use a half an ounce. So we're gonna do like a half, a half in here. Okay, so that's the peppermint snaps. Okay. And then we're going to add to that, my shirt is wet, uh, <laughs> the two ounce of white chocolate liqueur, which I mentioned that uh, I didn't know the difference and I found this. I got the Baileys. I just happened to get the light. Okay. And the amount of that we're going to use is two ounces. That's one. My Baileys just went on the floor. And that's two. It smells very yummy. Okay. 
that's two. And then we are going to add a splash of milk. Splash of milk. Right here in front of the stove. Okay, anyway, we'll clean it up later. Splash of milk. That's about a splash. Okay, splash of milk. Okay, here come the here come the test, y'all. Shake till combined smooth. All right. Uh, we've already had a blooper. We already had an accident. I already got to re mop my flow. Let's put this on. And rinse this out. Okay, let me wipe this off because this is what I mentioned before that it was slippery. Make sure it's dry. I'm not gonna even um be shaking it hard, y'all. Okay, I know y'all laughing. I'm laughing too on the inside, but it was so damn embarrassing. <laughs> okay, uh, so it says shake till combined and smooth. We ain't even doing no fancy dancing with this. I right, count to 10. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay. That's enough of that. We shake to combine and smooth. Pour into glass. Add ice. Okay. Let me back this up so, so y'all can see. Okay, pour into glass, add ice. Lord, child. <laughs> I got my glass right here. Pour into glass. Oh, shoot. Add ice. Okay, so I'm pouring it into the glass. Child, that was the most. I ain't never had no blooper like that. Add ice. I'm going to put a couple ice cubes in there. Y'all, <laughs> okay, pour into glass, add ice. I love these little ice cube trays, y'all. I got these from Target online. <laughs> They're so cute. Are they from Target or from uh, Amazon? I think Amazon. Okay, that's one. I just like, because they're very easy to get out, and I love the squares. And that's two, add ice. Oh, crack it, okay. Um. Top with whipped cream and sprinkle with crushed candy cane. So let me fill my ice tray back up and then it says top with whipped cream. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do my whole kitchen clean it over. I believe this. whipped cream and then sprinkle with crushed candy canes so here's the whipped cream I got just some little whipped cream from Walmart y'all know I love me some Walmart okay hopefully this don't be a please don't make this okay all right I don't know how that's I ain't had I haven't used whipped cream in a thousand years top with whipped cream It says to add sprinkle with crushed candy cane. And I have it for you right here. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. Okay. 
my candy canes. I'm just going to use one. I'm going to break this up. Look, it ain't going to be crushed candy cane. It's going to be pieces of candy cane. Let me see here. Do I got something to hit this with? Hold on. I had enough accidents. It ain't hard enough. Okay. Hold on, yeah. Okay. And it says top. Uh oh, it's already coming out. Is it busted somewhere? Top with. Uh, I'm still on that flow. Top sprinkle with crushed candy canes. so pretty y'all. This is my first time making this and I would love to make it again. Get on up in there. This is turning out very pretty. Okay. That's enough of that. <laughs> okay. So here's the finished product. Let me let you see it closer. Okay. And this was the peppermint and white chocolate Christmas cocktail. We will be sampling these in a minute. All right, all right, all right, and we're back. Uh, the shrimp have cooled off some. So now we're going to assemble it on the paper plate, and then I'm going to move it to the plated plate. So we're going to get the cups out. And this is an appetizer. You can make it. It doesn't have to be for holiday. These are the, can you see that? These are the Tostitos scoops. Mosquito scoops. I got my hands full. Okay. So since we have 12 cups, we're going to do 12 cups. Put 12 cups on here. Oh, wait a minute. All these ain't cups. I'm gonna turn it into this one, two, three. Yeah, they ain't all cups. That's not a cup. That's not a cup. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's not a cup. <laughs> Eight. These must have got broken up like in a in all cups. Okay. Nine. Ten. And two more. Eleven. Twelve. Okay. This one can go back. These can go back. These are just broken off tortilla chips. Okay. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, so you got your twelve. I just got some lime on a plate. After. Let me fold these back up. These was the Tostito scoops. Got this recipe off Pinterest. So it says to do, it says assembling shrimp taco bites. Place a teaspoon of avocado mixture in the tortilla chip. Place a half a spoon of sour cream in the chip and then top with the chili lime shrimp. Sprinkle with chopped cilantro. So the avocado mixture and then the sour cream and then the, chip, the shrimp on top of that. So here's the avocado mixture. So let's put enough in for 12 of these you know what it's gonna have to okay put this there. Like that. I'm trying to put them over to one side so okay 
Then I'll come back around with more of them once I get them in there. Avocado mixture, then I don't know, maybe some more supposed to go in here. Okay, no, I have more mixture than I think I need, but I guess you're supposed to double it up. I'm trying to put it all to one side so I don't have enough space for the other. enough space for the, uh, the other mixture, the sour cream mixture to go in. I don't want it to take over the whole, almost down to the end of it. I want so much in it that it won't fit. And then the shrimp still got to go down in it. I might have to take some of this out. Okay. Because the shrimp has to go on top of this. Okay. I have to, might have to take some out. Yeah, the shrimp has to lay on top. I don't want it to be so big. Oh, everything in here can't fit. Yeah, see like this, I think that's too much. Okay. Okay. So the sour cream mixture is supposed to go on the other side of this. sour cream mixture with a little pepper and the sour cream so uh, I don't know how much you're supposed to put in it what did it say put a half a, a half a teaspoon that's not a lot they made you make a lot So this, the rest of this could be used for a dip. That one's gonna be hot. I see the little red pepper sticking out of it. Sticking out, bull. Hopefully, this won't set my damn mouth on fire. <laughs> Cause I know peppers are hot, and I don't think that was a sweet pepper. Yeah, I'm gonna have some left over. This probably could be a dip if it's not super hot. Okay. Oh, it's not that bad. I just taste it. It's not that. Whoop! It, it, it do got a kick. Wait, wait, wait. You got a kick. Okay. Then you're supposed to. Oh, little chai. You're supposed to set the shrimp on top of there. Okay. Get the shrimp on top of there. Okay, let me rest my hands off. And then it says uh, sprinkle with chopped cilantro. So first I'm gonna do, where's the chopped cilantro? Okay. This don't get sticking to my fingers. Cause my hands was wet. Oh. Oh man. Maybe I had to do it with a spoon. Come on, sprinkle. Okay. I think that my hands, because my hands was wet, it's sticking to my fingers instead of. Okay. That's 
too much for that one. Okay. Okay. That's too much for that. Okay. So, and then I'm going to squirt it with some lime once I get it plated. So, I didn't want to load it up with the cilantro. So, I'm going to get it plated. This is how it looks on a paper plate. It came out pretty good. We're going to check them out and try them with my cocktail that I remade. And I'm going to plate it up so you can see how it looks pretty. Stay tuned. All right, all right, all right, y'all. We back. And the finished product and everything's plated. These are the shrimp bites. Don't they look beautiful? Very yummy. They're going to be yummy. I will link the recipe below. And I'm going to squirt some lime on them. And I remade my drink, that uh, mimosa. I'm just squirting some lime across on them. These are going to be my appetizers. <laughs> Uh, I'm sorry, y'all, about the accident that happened earlier. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, this has been chilling in the refrigerator, so hopefully it's broken down a little bit. And I remade me another one of those. Let me just out the way. The mimosas. Oops, almost dropped it, y'all. <laughs> I remade me one of these. I remade me one of these. So... Oops, it's falling apart, it's falling apart. I remade me one of these. This is a pretty, it's so pretty. And I really like these. Yeah, this is together. I'm just gonna drop this on there here. Okay, that looks pretty done. Presentation, aesthetic. Now we're gonna retry this, um, this peppermint mocha thing. Don't retry it. It just set in the refrigerator a little bit. You see all the whipped cream that went down. No, it's not so strong. It's not so bad. Yes, I would remake this. Like for a movie night. That's a little ending to the evening after you had pizza, popcorn, and all that stuff. This is kind of cool. I think in the beginning, it was just too much going on. Like I said, the vodka and the peppermint snaps. Yeah, it's going on now. This, I think, what the combination of the vodka and the, um, the Baileys and the peppermint. Yeah, this is straight now. So, you all, I'm going to dig into the shrimp. And I'm going to have my appetizer. The other one I'm going to put in the refrigerator for later. And I hope you all are safe, having a great weekend. Yada, yada, yada. Be safe. Wear those masks. Wash those hands. Look out for one another. Be patient. It's the holiday season, y'all. It's the holiday season. I'm going to clean up my kitchen later because y'all know it was a whole disaster thing going on here. And thank you for spending time with me this afternoon slash evening. And my channel is called It's Just K. Hope you had a good time. Things happened that we didn't know was going to happen. <laughs> but anyway, we made it. We made it through. We pushed through. But I will link all the recipes on the, in the description box below. Please comment, like, and subscribe to my channel. It's Just K. And I will wrap a taste with you later with all the crazy. It's Just K. Have a great weekend, you all. Bye-bye.